is this a remake a prequel or what what has this been officially classified as with the strangers chapter one you know, I was debating the same thing after it ended because my brother was wondering, is this a reboot because it's too much like the original? But it's not necessarily a reboot because, or it's just hard to explain it because of the technology. It's not the same as it was for the original. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to say it's like a reboot of it. But it also is not a sequel. So I just, I don't know how they will describe it, to be honest. Yeah, it's I, I've kind of contemplated the same through the thing too. And the technology is what threw me because it comes across like, this might take place in the same universe, but prior to, but are they going to go the direction of leading us towards the end of this trilogy to believe that that's when we will see, mm -hmm. when we would see the installment that we saw originally from back, I believe it was 2008 when the original mm -hmm. first came out in theaters. Now this one, I, I mean, I know a lot of people have been really, really digging deep on this one saying, this is terrible. Don't go see it. Don't waste your time. As slasher film fans, we are kind of used to this backlash from the critics and from people out there in the world. It's not the 18 or 19 Rotten Tomatoes percentage bad that you're seeing out there from the overall critics. It is a slasher film popcorn flick. It doesn't have a ton of substance or anything really overly new. Maybe a couple of things, but if you want just to have a turn off the brain slasher flick then it's it it's there it exists it's not <laughs> going to be the best horror movie of the year but astrid your initial thoughts before we get into the finite details of the strangers chapter one i mean i could see where people are coming from in that aspect of even my brother said it's like it feels just almost like a carbon copy of the original but i even pointed out to him after the movie ended based on what i remember from the original it does have a little bit of differences because in the first one the couple they're i i kind of want to say in the rocks kind of if you think about it that way so yeah. in this one the couple is not the same i feel like they really help and support each other through this whole ordeal of a night so you can see you can see it happening throughout the movie and we'll talk about it more in detail when we get to the spoiler section but they're like a happy couple they're celebrating the anniversary as we hear in the trailer but you know they're in a good kind of space in the in a good moment in the relationship it's you know things happen here and there but then it's they're, they're not exactly the same as the original couple to put it like that so to me that already takes it out it's not exactly a carbon copy and another thing to me is that the main character um see if i remember her name here uh maya who's madeline from uh riverdale that's how i know her from at least i will say riverdale all the time um she uh, acted a little bit different this aspect because she's an engineer if i'm not mistaken so there's moments that you could tell she put that cap on while she's in the movie. And we didn't get to see that with the original couple either. And there's some other aspects that I will talk about a little bit later when we get to support this section. I don't want to get too much into it yet. But it doesn't feel exactly like a carbon copy of it. I get why people are saying it, but it's not exactly it. I would say if I, I could put a percentage, I would say like maybe 80%, close to 90 But it's not exactly a carbon copy. There's some uh, things here and there that are different. And obviously, this is the first part out of three. So to me, we, we just have to give it time. This is just the beginning. So it could be exactly almost the same, but not entirely. But the other two parts are going to be different because obviously it's not going to be like the first one. We only got one. 